Hi everybody, today's pick a card is going to be what your best attributes are. So what the world receives from you in its best form, okay? So pile one, we have this rose quartz point. Pile two, we have the obsidian point. And pile three, we have the amethyst point. As always, meditate and contemplate on each and every pile. We're going to get into some zodiac signs as well as a lot of oracle cards so channeled messages today we're going to focus on that as well so if you'd like you can pick more than one or maybe none if you don't want to that's okay too um i hope you guys are having a good one and we're gonna get straight into the rose quartz <laughs> rose quartz point uh, first we're gonna roll the zodiac dice aries and cancer and also Capricorn and Aquarius. So that may be a sign for some of you. Maybe those are your signs, sun, moon, rising. Okay. I'm going to start off first with the Legendary Ladies deck. Um, I got this recently. Haven't used it yet. So, pile one. What is their best attributes? Okay. What is pile one's best attributes? How do people view them even? What are the things that people obtain from these attributes what does pile one give to the world okay okay we have inspiration and we also have rhythm like i said i have not used this deck yet so i'm going straight off intuition um inspiration most of all you can see um, there is also like art, the muses. So you may be an artist, okay? You may give people and what your best attributes are, are being able to help people through art, like your art. You might be a writer, a painter, even in theater, play an instrument, whatever it is, whatever art form that you rely on to express yourself, I'm seeing really touches people gets to like pulls on the heartstrings they relate to you through this and that's really something that is powerful and helps people and also by the rhythm i'm almost getting the same thing with like music you may be an artist because rhythm but i feel like you when i think of a rhythm i feel like it's constant it's purposeful and intentional so like you know, anything could be a rhythm, but I'm not a musician, so <laughs> that wasn't the best. But you get what I'm saying. Like, you can keep things going. I feel like one of your best attributes is to, I want to say, like, I'm thinking of the two of pentacles almost. Like, really weighing your options as well as keeping things balanced. Because when I, just like when I think of a rhythm, you can even see the two, two arrows here where it's, they're balanced, okay? And the moon balanced on each side. And I don't know 100%, but I believe this symbol is like a very powerful feminine symbol. Again, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But like I was saying before, I feel like you are the type of person to... Even maybe that people come to to tell their problems to. Um, and one of your best attributes is listening. But what I'm getting from, for the majority of you, it is expressing yourself and relating to people through an art form. Whatever that may be, okay? It could be painting a house, okay? Doing brickwork, something like that. Like, something simple like that. But for a lot of you, you could be theater kids or musicians painters writers even you know readers you could proofread writings and things like that um you could be an editor videographer whatever it is you relate to people and help people and i think that's one of your best attributes that you give the world okay i'm gonna get another card though okay and what really helps you because that was what you give the world, what, and even, maybe even relationship-wise as well, okay, 
We also have fertility. And with this reading, I feel like how I see this is you birth things. You birth ideas. You birth creativity. That really allows people to, again, feel. But for you, your best attribute that I feel like get, gets you to go a long way, like gets you very far, is how you can t take something and make it into something huge or take nothing and make it into something you could take a flower and turn it into this beautiful gown is what i'm saying like you can even take a terrible situation and make it great or take something from it i mean some people when they get angry or sad or have a rough time all they see is the negative but i feel like you Maybe you were that way to begin with at one point, but the optimism I feel in your energy is very strong and that's something that gets you a long way. That's something that benefits you because you don't just live in the negativity, okay? You really help yourself by crawling out of that space and looking at the sunshine, okay? But you're also very... We have two very bright cards, but then we have a more, you know, deeper card that could even be, like, the rhythm of life. Almost, I heard rhythm of life, so I, again, I don't, I can't put my finger on what that symbol is. You can comment down below. I've seen people have a lot of tattoos of it. I, I almost want to say it's just a po powerful feminine symbol. It represents, like, a very strong feminine energy but i'm not sure the exact meaning so like a rhythm of life situation is <laughs> that sounds so strange but like you have these two very bright um flowy cards but through the darkness like you see this woman standing very tall and strong we also have in the pictures her hair is you know flowing but she's almost half crow like crow feathers are coming from her hair um she's also holding a crow so i feel like again you may be very spiritual as well um and you can maybe even take those bad situations and turn them into positivity through some spiritual practices or something like that i just feel like one of your biggest positive attributes, if not your biggest, is taking the negative and turning it into a positive and helping people through that, as well as yourself. So, like I said, you can, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, like, no one's happy all the time, but I feel like you've gotten to a point in life where you don't want that anger and sadness to control you anymore. So that's why you're so positive. And I feel like you may have went through some things just with this more, you know, deeper um, energy where maybe that's why you don't want to um, be stuck in that energy. I feel like stuck... <sighs> stuck people you know people that are stuck in that negative space um it's hard and you know i completely get it if you're not at this point yet um so this could be something that you're coming into today when i'm filming is the new moon in aquarius so a time for restart rebuilding manifesting planting seeds things like that so i mean <laughs> you know what i mean like starting over starting fresh so if you are watching this and this isn't where you're completely at yet but you kind of feel it in your grasp feel like really learning to stay optimistic and expressing yourself thoroughly i feel like sometimes you might not have been able to express your feelings and express your true self um because a lot of the times feelings are just disregarded in society um looked at as negative i mean if you cry you're weak whatever um that's what is told to mostly 
everyone anyways, unless you have, you know, parents that prioritize emotions and emotional health, <laughs> okay? So this, I feel like talking about your experiences through your art really helps people and births their growth. So for the fertility, I feel like, again, you just take people and almost rebirth them through your art, your whatever it is. Like I said, it doesn't have to be painting or traditional art. It could be music, theater, photos, whatever it is, okay? You could even write blogs for a, li <laughs> write blogs for a living, okay? It does not matter. What matters is you touch people in some way or another, and that is your greatest attribute. That is your greatest, I almost want to say gift. Um, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, and sometimes I almost feel like you don't, you're grasping for that, even though you are already there. I feel like you're trying to touch this being, this state of being, should I say, that all you want to do is help people, I feel. And you are. But it's almost like you don't realize it yet. But I want to tell you, this is your sign that you are helping people. And that is your greatest attribute, helping people through past experiences and being able to balance um, your emotions well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that reading pile once. Um, as always, stay safe, happy, and healthy. Um, if you guys want to like, subscribe, comment, uh, that would be great as well. Um, again, if someone knows, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to look it up after this, but I, it's obviously a moon symbol, um, but I've seen it tattooed, like I said, I don't know, but <laughs> I hope you guys, um, are doing well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right. Pile twos. The Black Obsidian, one of my one of my absolutely favorite crystals, is the Black Obsidian. Just I love the energy of it. Whatever. <laughs> um, comment down below what's your favorite crystal, okay? Um, I hope you guys um are doing well. It's been crazy. I think the retro. It is the new moon in Aquarius, like I said, when I'm filming this, at least for my time zone. I know for some it was yesterday and for some it's tomorrow. Is it? Or no, it was just yesterday for some, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Okay, but um, anyways, yes. <laughs> Again, rambling, but let's get some zodiac signs for pile two. Cancer and Aquarius. Right, pile two. Scorpio and Leo. Alright. That could be your sun, moon, rising. Alright. Just any... I usually roll the zodiac dice just to say, Hey, if you are these signs, maybe this resonates a little more. And it doesn't matter. It's just a little bit for fun. It's just mainly for fun. Alright. Pile twos. What are their biggest attributes or their best attributes things that help people or help themselves what, is, what are the best things about themselves and i like to say that a lot of the time okay um people the things that people don't like about themselves are usually the best things about themselves i feel like the things people are very hesitant to, you know, say, oh, I like this about myself, or oh, th I don't like this about myself. People are like, oh, well, that's what we like best about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, okay. All right. We have self-care, focus, and we also have magic. So, a lot of you can could be, you know, very into magic, um, whatever you practice, because there's many, many, many forms, um, so I'm going to keep it very broad and just speak magic in general, um, and it does not have to be very, um, intense magic, like, you don't have to 
be very on it all the time. You could just take a bath with some Himalayan salt and light some candles and just kind of speak to the universe. And that that is perfectly okay. That is magic in itself. Um, so I'm hearing for this pile just a quick disclaimer that your magic, um, the way you practice is enough. You do not owe anyone any form of anything, okay? Just because you may not do it how they do it uh, does not mean you're any less than. And also for, you know, as a disclaimer again, closed practices are closed for a reason. And if you are not part of that, do not attempt it, okay? I feel like just respect, being respectful of everybody's space and everybody's practices and everything is beyond important and that's just a disclaimer okay but I feel like something that you've really mastered that is one of your best attributes is being even just focused on your self-care okay taking care of yourself not and I feel like that's why I said that it's almost because you feel that way almost like you don't get into anybody's business, okay? You're focused on you. You're focused on yourself. And that's why you are thriving. Oh, and these two pictures look very similar. So that you may even look a little bit like that. Um, you have very fair hair. Because we have three pictures of very fair hair. Um, but that was just a little... Just what I'm seeing. Anyways, but... Most of all, I feel like because when you care when you care about yourself to an extent um, that helps you grow and you really prioritize yourself, you show up as your best self and that others will benefit from it and most importantly you. So I feel like your best attribute is really taking care of yourself and it might be in a more, you know, magical way you may you know, carry a bunch of crystals, or you may use cleansing methods, anything like that, or just, like, sound cleansings, or anything like that, um, but what I'm seeing is, because of this, you really shine, um, people see you as a bright light, um, because of the way you present yourself, you are very, um, almost like a loving energy or a lovely energy you're very your beauty shines out extremely like far and like a lot I'm use my words I'm trying to use my words but I think you get what I'm saying where because you care about yourself it like I said allows you to become and show up as your best self so that then allows for better relationships, better just times in general when they're around you and you're around yourself. It also allows you to not worry about other people, what they're doing, and take their emotions on. You're, you can really dial in on yourself and on your projects and on your craft even. Um, what that may be is up to you. Again, general reading, but... What I'm seeing for you guys is a lot of self-growth. And again, you may have been through a lot. You may have had to deal with a lot. But even through all of that, you still came out on top. You are gl literally glowing. You see the stars on all these women. They are glowing from the inside out. Okay? So that's something very... I almost am touched by this energy, like you guys just deeply care about yourself <laughs> and not in like a selfish way in a way that you want to take care of yourself you want to take care of your body and your mind and just who you are you want you're proud of yourself which is it just feels very rare nowadays people just are very in this state of self-deprecation which is terrible and I really just wish more people, and I want more people to 
love themselves and it's very hard to like it's easier said than done but one of my main goals you know starting this channel and waiting for people and really stepping into my power is to help others that's all I want to do that's all like my main goal is to help others and I feel like through you know caring about yourself you know I feel like at one point in time most people didn't care about themselves. Most people went through tough things, you know, myself included. But now I'm at this point where I love myself, you know. I want to just help people. And I feel like that's one of your best attributes um, is being able to also set boundaries for yourself. Being focused on you and setting those boundaries really help you and help others as well, even though they may feel like, oh, this person doesn't want to talk to me. Well, why? Because you're being toxic and you're not, excuse me, you're not treating them right. And when they grasp that, once you, you know, take a step back, they will see. And sometimes maybe not, but I feel like just that's one of your best attributes is you're just staying true to yourself and worrying about you. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Pile 2, um, this reading, but it was a really powerful energy that this pile had because of the amount of care they have for themselves. So, I'm very glad you guys feel that way, and if you didn't, if you didn't resonate, I hope this was your sign to start deeply caring about yourself, okay? I hope you guys stay safe, happy, and healthy as always. If you want to like, subscribe, comment, it's up to you. Um, but as always, again, I hope you guys are doing well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, pile twos. And pile threes, the last pile, the amethyst point. Let's get into it. Okay, first I'm going to take a deep breath. <sighs> Clear the energies. All right. And it was just two, 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 two when I looked at the little time. So if that means anything to anyone. And if you want to look up that angel number, completely fine with me. Aquarius and Sagittarius. And also Scorpio and Gemini. All right. Pile twos. Okay. Pile. Did I say pile twos? <laughs> pile threes. Pile threes. This is pile three. All right, pile threes. Let's see. What is pile three's greatest ooh, greatest attributes? Okay. What is pile three's greatest attributes? Okay. We have morality. We also have love. Let's get one more. Oops. We also have creative luck. A few more fall on the floor, but we're only going to get two. So, with this pile, I feel like all these piles are just... <laughs> and we are talking about greatest attributes, so all of them are going to be positive. <laughs> but I feel like this is just positive reading. I just want something light for today. Um, just to kind of, I feel like people need a boost of confidence nowadays, so, and to really just have faith in themselves. So, I feel like through your love, like, you may even, I, I don't want to say this, but I feel like the way you love people may have even gotten you in trouble sometimes, because I feel like you love very hard and you care about people very deeply um like you when you love someone you will do anything for them and sometimes people some people just will throw that away and I feel like maybe you've been hurt um by that a few times but I feel like even though that has been the case you guys have not shut your heart off you have um really also stepped into your power through that, through that love, because you're not, you know, 
I feel like when you love someone, you're not looking for something in return. Because so, a lot of people do. But I feel like for you guys, you love people. And if they receive it well, great. If they don't, then that's their problem. And you're not going to, you know, lose sleep over it, should I say. Um, You're not going to say, oh, I'm not worthy. You know, you won't do that. But also, we have creative luck where I feel like when you put your mind to something, you really achieve it. You really look at things from a realistic standpoint. And so that way, like, you achieve your goals. You achieve success through creativity. You may <laughs> pile... I don't know if I said pile two, pile two in the beginning. I may have, <laughs> but that's the size of the point. You may have drawn, been drawn to pile one, um, or maybe pile two. Okay, but what I'm seeing for you guys is just through love, you really. It's almost like you do. What is that quote? Do all thing. Do all things. <laughs> uh, I can't even say. It. Do all things through love, where. When you react with love instead of anger or sadness or something like that, it almost is, like, better for you. You know, I feel like one of your greatest attributes is looking at all points and really working with a person like you are not very fond of arguments I want to say I mean no one is I mean some people are <laughs> some people like to argue okay but I feel like you try to hear like you don't argue to be right you argue <laughs> you, you don't argue to be right you communicate to understand the other point of view you don't kind of you know try to just get your point across you want to hear others points as well and again just with the creative luck this and i almost feel like this is the reason for this okay the way you view life with clear eyes should i say is one of the biggest things and the biggest reason why you have you may be very lucky you may have you know a lot of ideas that do very well um it's almost like everything you touch turns to gold, I heard. And oh, we have a lot of gold as well. Gold on all these women. Oh, gold on all these women. And it's because of the way you react to things, the way you view life, and the way you act that these things, that these ideas that you have come to life, okay, and are going to come to fruition. These and people may call them crazy, okay? But you know what you know. You know how your life is moving. You know that you're not going to stop being kind. You're not going to stop showing people love just because other people act a certain way. If someone wronged you, okay? You're not going to stop loving others just because of one person or maybe even multiple and that is your best attribute your best attribute is the way you treat people and from that the way you can turn any idea that you have into something beautiful okay it is not hard for you as an individual to find beauty in anything you find beauty in almost everything i feel even very like bad situations um but you still see potential in people you still see things and everything like with creative luck you may look at something like a dirty gross apartment and see potential and then you will renovate it and make it beautiful and everybody will be like well how did that happen but when you knew all along that it had that potential and you had that creativity to say let's do this so I feel like that's also something that you may be very good at is taking a bad situation like I said and just making it beautiful and 
people may call it luck, but I feel like you work hard to do that. You work hard to see all points of view. Because sometimes when someone's just being really not smart, it's very hard to, or they're being very belligerent, it's very hard to say, okay, let's work on this together. You just sometimes want to yell, <laughs> I feel like. But you sometimes most of the time keep your composure okay you still want to see it from other people's point of view so like if you're in a group of friends or something you may be like the mom of the group or the peacemaker whatever it is because you receive people well okay um i feel like even if people sometimes are unreceivable and you know like they don't they're not received well by others, you will still receive them in a way where they feel heard. And that's one of the biggest things that is great about you, making everybody feel like they matter or they are heard. Um, and you do that from a variety of ways. You could be very creative with it, um, but you still make people feel like they can be themselves and they again are just heard so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed that reading pile of threes and it resonated and keep doing you keep shining your light and keep working at what you want to work at getting your goals and i hope you all had a great day today and i'll see you guys in the next one bye